this is a little bit of a deviation from the send me a question on Twitter at Rachel L. Sarnoff and I will answer it in my Friday video because I've been thinking about how I keep talking about um, different ingredients in um, cleaners. I talked about this and also in the natural beauty segment I talked about this and that is um, synthetic fragrance and how they typically involve phthalates which are hormone disruptors. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. You guys can look at those videos for more. But um, then I was thinking about what I use as fragrance and um, and perfume actually and I make my own um, and people are always saying wow you smell amazing what is that and I say what I'm gonna tell you so what I wear is a base of organic vanilla extract like you cook with and then I love love rose geranium but you can actually use any other essential oil that you love. So this is rose geranium, but um, you know, little bottle of essential oil, big bottle of vanilla extract. So the extract has um, alcohol in it, and that's typically what perfumes use as a base, is alcohol. And the scent of vanilla, you know, it's just a warm scent that can be kind of a base note for anything. So if you like rose, or if you like lavender, or if you like um, orange, I don't know, you know, it can change depending on the season. I've been wearing rose geranium and lav and vanilla for a while, but um, I've also done it with lavender and I've also mixed lavender and rose and that's really cool. And the greatest thing about this is, um, so this whole concoction, which can last you like months, costs, let's see, so the rose, the, the rose costs about $12, the bottle that you this is the bottle. You can also just recycle an old spray bottle, but I bought this one for $3.50. Um, so that's what, $15? And the vanilla extract, I'm looking at my receipt, is $11. So, you know, it's really a very inexpensive way to make yourself some great perfumes. Okay, so you take the um, essential oil first. I like to do this first just because it's easier to measure. Um, and some people say like use a few drops. It really depends on what you like, how strong you like it, and also how big the, um, the container is. Mine is pretty big, so I'm actually gonna dump, um, you know, pretty much half of this little container of essential oil into my big blue container that is empty. Um, so here we go, big blue container, little bottle of essential oil, half, all right, let's just go for the whole thing, whole, <laughs> I told you, I love rose geranium, and then here's my vanilla extract, I should have timed this, this is like probably, you know, taking a minute, and then just pour it in there, so the one thing about this is it does have a color so you want to make sure that you um, put it on you know before you put on your clothes or don't be wearing white like I am and then spritz it all over your neck um, it will wear into your skin so you could put it on under your clothes which I did this morning and then put on a white t-shirt that's gonna be totally fine but just don't spray it right on your t-shirt shake it up and spritz and sniff. I wish we had smell a vision Oh my god, it smells so good. Ah, I love it! Oh, this is a good mix. Alright. So, see, and you can't see, right? There's no color. It's just the spray part. Try that out, and um, I also always forget, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. If you like stuff about natural beauty and lifestyle and parenting, please subscribe. Like, comment, um, and then tweet me at Rachel L. Sarnoff. Alrighty, thank you. See you Friday.